Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George Clark and today I get to check out the wonderful double release of Rich and Famous and Tragic Hero on Blu-ray from Eureka Video. Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, like the video and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. So first things first, I had previously filmed this, uh, which is why there is no plastic wrapping on this Blu-ray, but uh, thanks to a few faulty files, I was unable to do anything with that footage and now I've had to come back and do it all again with you. So I'm gonna pretend that this is my first time looking at this and getting very, very excited. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, super excited to have in my hands the Blu-ray release for Rich and Famous and Tragic Hero coming out on July 24th from Eureka Video. Uh, very, very excited for this because these are two wonderful movies and two movies that I feel have been underrated for many, many years. Uh, directed by Taylor Wong, who does an incredible job with these. Very, very much inspired by The Godfather and things like that. But they're two wonderfully made movies packed with an amazing cast. I mean, you have Chow Yun Fat, Andy Lau, uh, Alex Mann, Alan Tam, uh, Xing Fuan, Karina Liu, uh, Pauline Wong, who's amazing in this too, and so many more, so many more in there. A young Elvis Choi Kam Kong even pops up. Um, regardless, this has been, uh, or these have been favourites of mine ever since I picked them up way back when on video from Made in Hong Kong. Now those videos I do not have any longer but uh, as I go on my mission as I'm calling it of nostalgic greed where I'm trying to reap all those Made in Hong Kong titles back uh, very very slowly but surely getting there um, I will get my hands on those videotapes again someday soon. But uh, after the video uh, market had cleared kind of and then the DVD market came in, licensing for a lot of Hong Kong films kind of just seemed to be very easy for many people to get their hands on. Uh, you would have movies released by Eastern Heroes or Made in Hong Kong that would suddenly have come out on the Hong Kong Classics label or the MIA, which was the same kind of thing there. Um, and these movies themselves got picked up by MIA. Now, I, I did pick these up on DVD because I did want to see them again. I did want to have digital copies of these movies. And I was glad that I did because, again, it was nice to see them uh, a little bit cleaner than they are on the videotape, let's be honest. So they, they, were pretty, they were pretty nicely put together, I have to say. There was a few extras on there. These were early DVDs, but there's a few extras on there such as biographies, filmographies, uh, stills galleries, uh, trailers, things like that, but they were presented in their Cantonese version with English subtitles, which was always a bonus. Um, both movies to me are fantastic. As I say, Rich and Famous is very heavy on the drama, but there's still plenty of action scenes throughout there, and that last 20 minutes is fantastic. It is something else, whereas Tragic Hero really ups the ante on the action front. Um, I forgot about Danny Lee, of course. Danny Lee does pop up in there uh, throughout both movies also. Um, and of course, many of these stars had shared the screen quite a number of times over the years. You had Danny Lee and Chai Yun Fat, you had Andy Lau and Chai Yun Fat, and so on and so on. So they've, they've shared the screen a lot, but these are, are definitely two movies that I would highly recommend if you are a fan of these guys. Um, so in 2019, before the pandemic kicked off, I was in Hong Kong uh, with my husband and I came across these wonderful um, Blu-ray versions of both movies here with Tragic Hero renamed as Black Vengeance, which I've noticed quite a bit. Uh, this is released on the Vicol label and I've only ever slid out the first one here just to check the quality. Now I've never opened them as such um, but I wanted to check the quality and I will tell you why because when I picked these up for probably about three or four pounds in Hong Kong and I was very excited but whenever I came home my good friend Mark who you will see 
doing our um, visual audio commentaries with had presented me with a bunch of Hong Kong Blu-rays uh, and Hong Kong movies, I should say, mostly from the Nova Media uh, distribu distribution label. Uh, and Rich and Famous and Tragic Hero were amongst those. And look at these gorgeously packed Blu-ray releases. They are just stunning. So, uh, in comparison to the Hong Kong ones that I bought, which were quite quite cheap looking in comparison. I didn't bother opening these, um, but I did get stuck into them on Blu-ray here and they, they blew me away to be able to see them in a bit more high definition. Um, not restored as such, but indefinitely in a bit more high definition. And it's these movies alone that I am going to be putting up against this stunning release from Eureka Video. So here we have it uh, coming out next week with uh, new artwork from Go Kaiju, or uh, as he's known, Gregory Sakre. I think I pronounced that right, I hope I did. Um, but this, uh, yeah, this is great to see it finally hitting UK shores um, in a restored Blu-ray format. I'm just so happy because new fans that have really taken to these boutique labels uh, and have become new collectors, let's say, will hopefully get a kick out of what's on offer here because as I say, they are two fantastically made movies there. Okay, with this release, I'm gonna go through the special uh, features very quickly here. We have got 1080p presentations on Blu-ray from new restorations of original film elements. It's not saying whether it's a two or 4K, but it's saying that there are new new restorations there. I'm kind of thinking it might be a 2K. Uh, limited edition slipcase, of course, as we talked about. Original Cantonese audio tracks, optional English dubbed audio options, uh, newly translated English subtitles, brand new audio commentary by Frank Jang, Dub Masters, a brand new documentary featuring interviews with Simon Broad, the voice of Chow Yun-Fat for the English language releases of many of his films, which is pretty cool, and Russell Waite from Tokyo Godfathers. That's the anime, which is totally worth seeing. It's a fantastic anime. Um, Heroes and Villains, Johnny Mac style. Johnny Mac is the producer. Uh, an interview with scriptwriter Manfred Wong, which is an archival interview. Uh, and then you've a race for the heroes, an interview with Michael Mac, um, an archival interview. Also, uh, trailers plus a limited edition collector's booklet featuring a new essay by James Oliver. Wonderful. Okay, let's pop this out and get stuck in because there's a lot to see here. So as you can see, uh, we have got two different covers there. This is the slip, which is mainly taken from Tragic Hero. Uh, and then underneath there, it's kind of that rich and famous look to it. So I'm kind of guessing, yes, on the other side, we have got the flip side. So I'll put the sleeve down here and just quickly share this with you. As you can see, rich and famous and Tragic Hero. I like this design. It kind of, it really suits it. It's not, um, I think had this been handed to Darren Wheeling to give that kind of that uh, sketchy look with the uh, too much color, I think it wouldn't have worked as well. This is pretty classy looking, I like it. I shouldn't have left my phone on, but I did. <laughs> I'm nearly sure I put it on silent. <laughs> okay, inside. Ooh. Inside we have got the booklet here and of course, disc one and disc two, as you can see here. Um, both uh, in different colors there. And let me step out this cover, first of all, before I forget. So yes, either side there we have uh, artwork, new artwork for both movies. And on the reverse, the Hong Kong posters, which to be honest, aren't too impressive. If I, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm definitely not gonna be swapping this, um, or flipping this cover around, I should say. I'm gonna keep in this new artwork because that is definitely much more impressive um, and beautifully done, beautifully done artwork. Okay, the booklet itself though, uh, let's see. Here we have the front, which is pretty nice. I mean, it really sets the, and you can't go wrong with Chow Yun Fat. Uh, I mean, the guy is definitely the coolest actor on the planet, but I, I would say this is probably, well, Maybe not. I was going to say this is probably more so an Andy Lau and Alex Mann film, but Choi 
does have as much as much screen time I would say so it is it is an even uh, three-way and that's a shot then from tragic hero there as he's leaving the nightclub pretty pissed off I would say okay yes let me get stuck into this and have another look what a fantastic shot there from uh, tragic hero but yeah these movies um some people have complained that they're just too melodramatic uh, that's just the type of movie they are. This is the gangster world. This There's a lot of um, drama goes on, of course. There's still some amazing action delivered uh, from Bruce Leung, or Bruce Liang, uh, who obviously played the bad guy in Kung Fu Hustle, among many other Kung Fu classics. He is the action director, I do believe, um, and the wonderful and late Shing Fu on there, uh, who dies a wonderful death um very very uh memorable moment there but yes lovely book looking forward to getting stuck into that uh whenever i start watching these later and um yeah that's pretty much all there is to show you there and share with you so i am going to go watch both of these movies again very excitedly it's been about a year two two years since i watched the nova media blu-rays but i will put this up against those just to see if that restoration actually works a wee bit better um, and I may even crack open the Hong Kong ones just to sort of like uh, check that quality because those Vic Hall upscales are pretty decent um, but yes go check that out check out the extra features and I will come right back and let you know what I think So just back after checking out the Eureka Video Blu-ray release of Rich and Famous and Tragic Hero and I have to say I was hugely impressed. Both prints look absolutely stunning. Uh, I did pop on the Nova Media ones for about 10 minutes each uh, just before going into these and I even slid out the Rich and Famous uh, Hong Kong release just to put that against it because adva those advanced Blu-rays always look pretty sweet. Um, but I have to say, I do feel, and maybe I'm being a little biased, but I do feel that the restorations on here were somewhat cleaner, had something a wee bit more to offer. Uh, not Apart from that, there's a load of extras on here to enjoy, where the other releases certainly don't have those, but definitely the prints stood out uh, and absolutely looked stunning. They looked in incredible, in fact. Um, I have to say, again, Tragic Hero, was just it takes it to another level rich and famous is a wonderfully made movie and then tragic hero just goes all out balls to the wall it's a bit nuts uh i forgot about some moments in there some shocker moments in there uh including spoilers polly wong's death that got me again um but yes totally well worth uh picking up for the prince alone but then again we have a host of wonderful extra features on here i've yet to go and watch them with the commentaries i did watch them in their original language uh with the restored original Cantonese this time uh but I will go back and check them out with Frank Jang's commentary sometime soon perhaps when I'm reviewing them uh, for the website but in terms of special features on the rich and famous disc you have got the Dove Masters documentary it's a pretty neat little documentary uh talking to two Hong Kong dubbers or English dubbers of Hong Kong movies uh made by Arna Venema uh, very very neatly made it's pretty cool to watch and listen to their stories runs for about 20 minutes uh, 21 minutes sorry just over 21 minutes uh, and that's on rich and famous with some trailers there and then here on the tragic hero disc you have got the two interviews with man from wong and uh, michael mack yep so uh both very very interesting interviews the michael mack one a wee bit fuzzy on his audio but you get over it uh his runs for the longest at 32 minutes and again, great to hear what this guy has to say, how he got in with Johnny Mac and the, the Golden Harvest backing them up and the chat that they, uh, the projects that they created together there. Very, very interesting. Again, runs for just over half an hour. Uh, well worth checking out if you're a diehard fan of Hong Kong cinema for sure. And then Manfred Wong, very interesting guy, uh, great DVD collection. And again, his runs for about 22 minutes, but loved hearing what he had to say. It was great watching that. Because uh, these are these are people you kind of don't see enough interviews with or uh, hear enough of. They're kind of names from Hong Kong cinema that we here, especially here in the West, haven't heard or seen 
a lot about uh, apart from their names on the video covers or on the DVD covers. But anyway, for me, a uh, beautiful release. Yes, I would have liked to have seen two single uh, releases, much like the Nova Media one, to give them their own flavour and their own style. It would have been nice to see both of those uh, Gokaiju covers uh, get their own disc. But saying that, I, I'm starting to agree with quite a few of you who are talking about space saving. And as we all know in here, I'm running fast, running out of space. So yes, for me, uh, Rich and Famous, Tragic Hero from Eureka gets a double thumbs up uh, out on July 24th, which is pretty soon. Um, and yes, super glad to have this in my collection. So thank you once again for watching another video here on Invincible Asia. Don't forget you can check out hundreds of others here on the channel. You can also show your continued support by heading over to my new merch store or by checking out InvincibleAsia.com where you can read my full movie reviews and follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia. Until next time though, enjoy your Kung Fu and I will see you soon.